Today we're fishing a finesse rig. We're just using a, a wacky setup floating worm. This is a variation of green pumpkin, technical name, tilapia magic. Uh, this time of year, anything in this kind of clear water, anything green pumpkin, watermelon red, your neutral greenish colors is what's probably gonna get you the most bite. We've got it on a, a wacky hook, this a kale hook here, but about a size one to one aught. Fishing on eight pound line on a seven foot medium spinning rod with a, about a 3000 series reel. This just works perfect for, for fishing this way. Oh wow. Another nice little largemouth bass. Now, where we're fishing today, fish about this size are what we need to go ahead and cull some out of to go ahead and help the population. This one's a little old, right around 12 inches, perfect size, so we're gonna go ahead and keep this one. Make a nice meal. There's a lot of a lot of trees in here. Usually you're gonna wanna pick a specific target. A lot of targets today, but what I'm wanting to really do is cast past the tree or right next to it, I guess. Let it sink for just a second and then twitch. Sink, twitch. And just work it back to the boat. If you can find a spot with more trees, kind of like back there a little bit farther. You got a couple more targets you can run by. Well, I was off on that one. Well, you're just trying to look like injured bait fish, injured worm. Ah, he hit it and got my bait. <laughs> so show you how I've got this rig since I need another one take my worm you can see that there's a, a fatter spot on that worm and I'll just run my hook right through there this is what's called wacky style and we're ready to go The chunky monkey. Wind's picked up a little bit now, so instead of throwing the floating worm, which you want a little bit calmer conditions, we're gonna go with a spinner bait. This is a great type of bait for, for anybody, great for a beginner. Uh, throw it out, work it in. It's a moving bait, cover a lot of water. We're still gonna focus on targets, kind of like these isolated trees out here, and just mimics bait fish, and we'll see what we can come up with. For a spinner bait, we like a rod that's, this one's about six and a half feet, medium heavy, kind of fast taper. We're using a, a reel with a 6.3 to one gear ratio. You want something in that 6.3 range, anything like a seven or eight is gonna be too fast. You're not gonna be able to keep your bait where it needs to be. Anything like a five or a five one is gonna be, it's just gonna be too slow. You're not gonna be able to get it where you need it. So somewhere around the 6-3 mark is great for spinner baits. Mm. Thing about spinner bait, you can work it fast, trying to get up on top of the water, make the ripples, work it slower, down deeper in the water. Another common method for bass fishing is flipping a jig. This is a half ounce flipping jig with a creature type bait plastic trailer on it. The goal here is to go along, we're gonna go along the bank and we're gonna flip, uh, it's just called flipping. Short amount of line out, flipping to the edge of the grass, pop it a few times. You're not trying to cast long distances, it's just gonna be a short, short game. Reel it in, flip to another. Also works good on trees.
and you're just looking to try to target those bass that are right up against structure. For this setup, I've got a seven foot, 10 inch rod, extra heavy. You want a lot of power. Uh, and I've got 20 pound fluorocarbon line. Could use braid as well, but I like the 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon. With a seven to one gear ratio, you could even go up to an eight to one because you're not really working the bait with anything except your rod tip. You're trying to get as much line in as possible when you hop that up. So perfect setup for flipping bass, heavy cover, up close and personal. All right, I'm gonna go try another technique. We've got a soft plastic swim bait, about a five inch model. This one's got a weighted hook with a, a blade on it. Adds a little extra vibration and flash. Got it on a seven and a half foot rod. Uh, it's heavy action rod, 6'3 reel, uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon line. So let's see what we can do here. Another one, perfect for bass management and some great recipes.